and start that. Body and health are under constant threat. Destructive EMF radiation is all around you all the time. Every day, you can be exposed to as many as 40 sources of toxic EMF smog. It comes from your internet router, your Bluetooth devices, 4G and 5G cell towers, and more. Continuous exposure to EMF radiation can lead to reduced energy, faster aging, lowered immune system capability, brain fog, poor mood or focus issues, trouble sleeping, and unwanted stress. Researchers have termed these symptoms magnetic field deficiency syndrome. It's a result of your body's biomagnetic field being bombarded by EMFs. And new 5G cellular towers pose an even greater threat to your health. The problem is, you're probably experiencing some or all of these symptoms without even knowing it. And there's been virtually no way of defending yourself against EMF radiation until now. Enter Centropics. With products designed and engineered to keep you safe and balanced, whether you're at home or on the go. By producing positive electromagnetic frequencies, Centropics products will restore your biomagnetic balance. Daily users report mental clarity, enhanced focus and performance, higher energy levels, reduced fatigue. Backed by scientists and supported by experts, you can feel confident knowing that Centropics is protecting you from EMF radiation around the clock. Experience a level of clarity, vitality and balance you didn't know was possible. Protect your body from the harmful effects of EMF smog and 5G and take a shortcut to feeling your best with Centropics. So... Um, I want to show people the very first day what I look like. Um, <laughs> and I have a picture of me with the Centropics day one. On my, and you can just look at me now, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to show you. Um, let me see how I do this. So I have this the other screen up. So if I go to present, share screen. Um Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I don't want it because I want a window. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Now, oh my. which which day looks better? <laughs> I so mean, how did you I, feel when you, when you were taking that picture? How were you feeling internally? I mean, was it, you know? Well, my brain was inflamed. Ooh. My brain was hurting. I was crying myself to sleep. Oh. Okay. Look at my skin. I'm actually going to close this window here because the, the light's coming in. But hold on. Okay. This should be better. I think. We'll see. Okay. Look at my skin. Look at the difference. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It looks good. Aged and everything else. Mm -hmm. This yep. is day one of using the bubble. So that was March 25th. You can see this date on here. It says March 25th, 957 p uh, 957 a.m. So 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, okay. And here I am less than a month away. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, it actually has a frequency specifically for the skin. So in addition to uh, being an EMF converter, um, it does put out uh, a number of other things. So uh, skin, frequencies that support the skin, um, your metabolic system as well. So uh, people will notice shifts in their eating habits as well, like their metabolism picks up. Um, and that could help to, you know, reduce weight, things like that. Um, your, your heart, it affects your heart, um, your meridians. Um, it cleans up your auric field. So it actually supports your, the natural frequencies of your body. So it kind of creates a, a buffer, okay, a force field, so, so to speak, around you that allows you to be more resilient to the EMF that is around you. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think people who maybe grown up with science fiction, which is an old fiction, uh, just the, the image of a force field that it creates, I think they can relate to that because we are always emitting waves, electromagnetic frequencies that are part of what we are. So to have it disturbed, our, our field disturbed all the time with with the, uh, the the kinds of waves that we've been absorbing and how it depletes our energy. I think the idea of having kind of like a force field that protects you, people can, can visualize that. And well, think about the Jetsons. They were, you know, remember George Jetson? Yeah. yeah. They were talking on Zoom. Yep. Yep. They were talking on Zoom. <laughs> yes, they were. So, so you know, bring up the screen in your living room and talk to somebody, you know? Yeah. yeah. So we have two callers. Let me take those two callers real quick. So 872-901, I'm going to bring you on. And then after that, 404-276, okay? So, uh, um, so, because I sense that they needed to go. Or Yeah. Thank you for calling. Hi, Lois. In Chicago, Illinois. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you all this morning. It's special. You know, I heard about all of the uh, medications and everything else that you had taken. And I wondered, well, what is she, what was it given to her for, and et cetera. Today, I learned that you've been suffering from MS. I was suffering from MS? No. I had small, well, I had a variety of 19 chronic conditions. But MS was not one of them. I had small fiber neuropathy it attacked. Those medications actually attacked my nervous system. But I had a misdiagnosis of having bipolar disorder and schizo too. When I complained of pain, because I fell at the part in the parking lot at work. And you're welcome to down go to my website and download the full story for free. And what's the what's the website address? Yeah, so I'll put it. It's W. It's Susan Essentials. So www. Essentials. dot com. That's S U S O N, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So www. S U S O N E S S E N T I A L S. dot com, and at the bottom of every single page is an opportunity to do a free download for that book. You can get the PDF or you can get the audio or both. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. I didn't know that. But so uh, uh, I wondered in our conversation this morning, uh, did we include uh, the aneurysms that people are getting from the radiation of from carrying the Bluetooth in their ears and what have you. Well, we haven't talked about it, but it's a huge thing. Yeah. Oh, Lois, Lois, Lois. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. Keep talking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's... I'm wondering about that. <laughs> that's so, because I, I have a dear uh, uh, sister-in-law who was a nurse at the uh, uh, Children's Hospital in Chicago. And she had one aneurysm, and she kept working with the... Uh, Bluetooth in her ear and what have you. So she passed away about four years ago. And I have several friends that I know who carried the Bluetooth and, and they had aneurysms and just mm. here. So I can yes, that's a, 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 something I just wanted to mention too. So, you know, God, I ask that, that God bless you from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Oh, thank and that you. whatever wrong in your body right now that is he will fix it because he's the one who made you. And that's all. And, and they bless all of us because we all need a little help and a little prayer through here. But thank you for being alive. And thank God for you being alive to even share this with with, with his people. And, well, and thank you all for listening. God bless you. This is Lois in Chicago. Lois, first of all, thank you so very much. Um, and um so I want to tell you, you're absolutely right that it is God, um, but it's God and, and look, I, I took the easy button. I took God's direction 
right? <laughs> cold, yes. And don't get me wrong. I used a multimodal approach, and I'm just going to kind of uh, shout them out real quick. One, I used this bubble. Two, I used a PEMF mat by, it was called the cloud. Three, I used life wave patches, which we'll explain in a little bit. I used uh, specific essential oils. I also um, used divine intervention, spontaneous remission. And then I used acupuncture, uh, which my friend, Dr. Matt will talk about because he's, I'm going to add him to the stream here. Hello, Dr. Matt. Good morning. Good morning. Hope everybody's having a great day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so uh, we're, I, I, I sense you probably heard what we were talking about. And we're going to go through all the different ways in which I allowed my body to heal itself. And, um, okay. you know, like that. But Lois, so thank you. Um, yeah, it is absolutely a God job. And, you know, um, be, before I have Dr. Matt um, share what he saw, I do want people to see what you're referring to, which is those earbuds. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's, I have on my YouTube channel, okay, um, a video that I did not do. And it's about um, these AirPods. It says wireless radiation from AirPods, sa safe mm. technology, right? And it's less than a so have some second. AirPods, and they are turned off with the case closed, low levels of RF. And look what happens immediately when we open the case and take out the earbud, our levels of RF go up pretty high. Ooh. People walking around with the ear pod in their head all day long. About, it's peaking at about seven or 800 millivolts per meter. So I think, you know, people need to understand that you can't be putting this dangerous technology by your brain, right? Or actually your body, but certainly your brain. I got a question because I have seen people like wearing those ear pods all day long. And I'm sure there's got to be some kind of long range effects of that. I don't know. It, it, usually we don't notice things until maybe 10 years later. And then you see a trend of brain tumors and things like that. But are there signs people should look for that maybe they're wearing their ear pods for too many hours out of the day or something, you know, headaches, well, any kind of warning signs? Sure. So one second is too long. So yeah. Say that. yeah, I would recommend a wired set like uh, Dr. Matt's uh, wearing versus a uh, wireless. Mm. Mm -hmm. I have a patient's Who mother is? who... Uh, had a brain tumor and she links it directly to the wireless Bluetooth headsets that she was wearing Ooh. for hours on end, days on end in her corporate life. Wow. I got a couple of friends and they always got their earpiece in and you know, I... yeah, I cringe every time I see that. Uh, uh, Cause I, I know what's, what's happening there, especially, you, you know, even with the, um, when you're not on a call, it's transmitting to your phone all day long wow so like you know people just kind of keep them in and it's right there the little antenna it's hitting right there. so it's actually heating your heating your tissue up right wow. uh, and now it gets worse when you actually have a call come in or come or, or when you disconnect it you know it even spikes up but um yeah i mean it, it's not a good habit to 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 have and you know i Ooh. i never i don't own them i don't i would never use them i pretty much if i do have a headset on i have a wired headset uh, but oftentimes i use just my speakerphone and you know a little thing that people can do that just just common things that you can do easy things you can do so most people don't realize that you know your wi-fi your bluetooth all that is on for most people your location you can turn that off and for me, when I'm not using it, I just turn it off, and it does make a dramatic difference. Just by yeah, we turn it off every single night. When we leave the house, we turn it off because we don't want our pets being exposed to the Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah. Think about this. So, um, 
Yeah, not a good thing. 